All right, everybody, Lloyd Hannison here from StadiaCast, and we got some amazing news. Well, depending if you're like me, someone that is a content creator that likes to take the stuff that I save in-game and take it elsewhere, we got some news today. Uh, forever, we've been able to... Here, let's bring up a browser. Um, ooh, that's not the one I wanted to do. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, forever, we've been able to... <laughs> it's I, I stretched it out, and it's not working anymore. Whatever. That's fine. We'll go. We'll go back to this one. Uh, forever, uh, we've been able to save stuff uh, in game um, on Stadia. You hit the little, the little share button, the little save button, this little thing that looks like a, a shutter, um, and it, it would save a screenshot. Or it would, if you held it down, it would save a video. But there was really no way to get at it. So if you open your Stadia app, I'm gonna do that right now. Opening up my Stadia app, <clears throat> and when I would scroll down to the bottom, I'd see all my captures. There wasn't really much I could do with it. I could look at it and I could hit the little trash button and I could close out, um, but I couldn't even rotate it. Like if I went like this with my phone, it still stayed the same way. Uh, there's no way to get videos out. It was just, I don't know. It, it didn't seem, it didn't seem super useful. Well, if you're one of the lucky few and it seems like it's rolling out to pretty much everybody, if you um, if you go to stadia.google.com right now on a web browser and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, just keep going, keep going, keep going, you now have a capture section, um, which is great. You can click on an image. You can look at uh, something from Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, you can look at something from Spitlings, which is just a collection of all my deaths, which was uh, a lot of fun to take. Um, but if you hit see all, it actually takes you to stadia.google.com slash captures. Um, which is really cool because this is a new website that they just threw up for this, which is fantastic. Um, but what it allows you to do is save 500 video clips or unlimited screenshots. So not one screenshot, not 50 screenshots, unlimited screenshots, um, which is which is pretty fantastic. So when you're viewing something like this one, uh, Spitlinks, uh, you can hit trash if I don't want it anymore, uh, or you can hit this little download button. And when you do that, uh, it'll take a second. You can see that it actually downloaded a JPEG image, uh, which is great. Um, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, which is these, uh, these are the first screenshots I took on Stadia, which was basically me just hitting the screenshot button by accident when Destiny 2 was loading. Uh, and I did multiple of them, like a lot of them, uh, until I figured out where all my buttons were. Um, but if I go there and I hit delete, it's deleted. So it's uh, it's gone. It's no longer there, uh, which, is, which is great. Uh, if I go to uh, this and I find, uh, I don't wanna do too many spoilers of uh, Borderlands. <clears throat> So sorry if something popped up that was a spoiler. If you click on a video, it plays in a YouTube um, a YouTube video player. Uh, but if I go up here and I hit this little download button, you can see, um, boom, there we go. I have a video called Borderlands 3 something 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 dot webm. Um, so if you're not familiar with what a webm is, it's uh, it's another video format. It's like a it's like an MP4 or uh, an MKV. It's just another video format. Uh, but what you can actually do with the WebMs is uh, play them in a web browser. So I can quickly just take this WebM and I could drag it to a web browser and they're playing in a web browser. Oh, you're not seeing the web browser. So you, I, you, I could have been lying to you, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> so it's playing in a web browser, which is really great. Um, but if you're wanting to do something with this that is... Um, maybe a little bit different uh, than just playing in a web browser. If you want to do something useful with it, uh, you're going to have to use uh, a converter. So this is a, a really good website. It's media.io slash convert uh, webm dash two dash mp4 dot html. I'll put the link to this one in uh, the description of this video. And if you uh, if you go here and you take that file that you just um, that, that you basically uh, downloaded, you just drag it here. It says a uh, little bit of details about the file. So borderlands 3webm it's 89 megabytes. Uh, it's ready. I want to convert to all these different settings. So you can convert it to MP4. Uh, it'll hit converting. So it uploads the file 
waits, transcodes it, and downloads the file. And then you can take that and and do other things with it. So you can um, you can send it to YouTube. Um, you could send the web app to YouTube as well. But you could send it to YouTube, or you could put it on Twitter. You could put it on Instagram. Um, other services that will, don't really understand what a web M is. They need an MP4 or an MKV or some other AVI, some other video format. You can easily do it with um, online um, file um, converters like this one. Uh, this one also has a desktop version of it. So you can download the desktop version and then just drag it into the desktop thing. Let all the conversion happen for you on the fly on your computer and then take that file and um and put it somewhere else so this is a really really cool uh update i'm uh i'm actually really uh really happy with it um i i was kind of asking for this for a while now saying when are we going to actually get uh the ability to download our our damn captures from from stadia i want i want to take all these awesome videos uh that i've or all images and videos that i've that i've been saving and and drop them up here um, I don't want to spoil anything with the bosses and things like that, so I'm going to go off that stuff. Um, but yeah, you can see all of the amazing screenshots that you've taken, uh, like this amazing Incan, uh, I don't know, tomb thing that I took in Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, it's just going to allow you to do a lot more stuff on Stadia. Um, just a little update like this is going to be huge for content creators like me, and it's going to be huge for a lot of other people that are also um, creating content or using stuff online posting to Twitter. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of stuff flying on Discord now where people are taking their favorite captures and dropping it on the uh, runjumpstop.com slash Discord Discord uh, in the StadiaCast uh, um, channel. So a lot of stuff, a lot of amazing stuff going on. So hopefully you all have access to that by now. And if you do, again, you just go to stadia.google.com. You scroll to the bottom, you're going to see your captures there now. That was never an option online. It was only available in the app. Uh, and then if you hit see all, you can now go to your captures window and look at all the amazing, amazing captures that you've taken. Um, and if you don't like them, you can just hit uh, delete. And boom, they're deleted which is really cool as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from StadiaCast. Check out our show. We do a StadiaCast podcast every Sunday. We record it live. We upload it that day. Uh, you can download it in whatever podcatcher you want to use to listen to uh, MP3s or podcasts. And um, and then uh, check out our show on YouTube. We put the videos up there. We put other newsy videos like this. We do Let's Plays. We do First Looks. A lot of great stuff over at YouTube.com slash StadiaCast. So that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from StadiaCast. Take it easy, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time here on StadiaCast. <laughs>